Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just standing up in the loft of Athenry Castle. You may have seen my last video. I was at Athenry Railway Station. And if you're wondering why my hairstyle has changed, because that was only filmed a couple of hours ago, before I came to Athenry Castle, on my way from Athenry Castle to Athenry Castle from the railway station, I had my hair cut, so hence the slightly different hairstyle. So here we are, we're up high... Um, in the roof of Athenry Castle. This castle dates back to the 12th century and um, it, its main role was as the home of the de Birmingham family and then it, eventually it became a ruin until 1994 when it was rebuilt. All with Irish oak, you can see this lovely ceiling, all traditional with dowels, no, no nails or metal nails. Um, so it's a very, very well create, recreated building now I don't even hear these birds but these are the arrow loops well they appear to have made a nest and occasionally you'll see them I think they're just outside um, you can hear them so yeah I think they've got a nest possibly just out, outside there so if we have a look at the other end I'll show you a nest so yeah as I said this is Athenry Castle Athenry is a walled town um, so it's, it's quite a famous town in Ireland, and as I say, it's known for its song, The Fields of Athenry. You can see a bird's nest just there. There's no birds in it at the moment, but have a look. And if you look out this window here, we can see the old... You actually can't see, I don't know. You can just see the church. That is was the Church of Ireland church. It's now part of Athenry Heritage Centre, which I may go and visit next. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you down stairs through the castle and outside so I'm going to go down and that made a nice staircase all out of Irish oak so I said the de Birmingham family lived in this castle it has gradually from when it was first built it's been extended and upwards so it originally would have just had one big great hall which I'm taking you down to so probably about where I'm now would have been perhaps the original ceiling and then they've effectively, if you look at the stairs behind me, put another floor on. The one thing I will show you while we're here is, we can't go up it, but is this staircase. I don't know how much you can see of that going up there. But that is an original staircase. It's quite unusual. But on the whole, they're spiral staircases in castles because it makes them stronger. The only other place I've seen a staircase that goes up the side of the wall like that was at Newcastle Castle. In England, and I did do a video there, which I may be able to find a link to. So we're coming down the stairs into the Great Hall. So I'm just seeing some boards there. It's reminded me of the year the castle was built. It was built in 1235. So these lovely arches here. What's these are? Apparently, you only find these in Ireland. Um, I've been told Boyle Abbey, which I don't know if I'm going to have time to go to, is a good place to see them. So this is the Great Hall that we're in now. And this room here goes through to the Garda Road. For those of you who don't know, that is a toilet. I'll put the camera forward. You can just see we are in the toilet in it. You'd have gone straight through there and out there. So we're going to go back out again into the keep. So back into the Great Hall. So these castles, they're, they're quite sm smaller compared to British castles. They were known as Irish tower houses. You'll find them everywhere, all over Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. A, a few years ago I went to Strangford Lock in Northern Ireland. There's quite a few around there. Now this glass... I'm standing on that, is the basement down below me. Originally, that was the only way down to the basement. If you look at the Great Hall, so this is how it would have looked originally. There'd have been a small fire in the middle, and in the middle here somewhere, and it had just gone, the smoke would have just gone out the top, but they've put the extra floors in, so eventually a fireplace would have been built. So you can see, so this would have been the only way in, and as I said, the way the basement was down through there but there is now a door to the basement so the castle yeah it was built in 1235 and then it was extended up in 1250 
and then in the 15th century it got to its height and I believe that is perhaps when the de Birmingham family lived there. I've learned so much history today, I've all got a bit mixed up so I apologise if I have said something not correctly. Out there, I believe that's what the de Birmingham's built, that was the great banqueting hall. So we just come down these modern steps, I'll take you into the basement so you can see the castle behind me now. So we were up there when we started, just go into the basement, which we're going to now. So this is the basement now. Originally it had been one big room, but when the castle was extended upwards, they had to put in these extra floors here to support the extra weight. So you can see it's all washed with lime, lime wash, which helps when they kept the food here to keep the food um, from getting too moist and um, bacteria, etc. Now, where we were a minute ago up in the Great Hall was up there, so you can just see I was standing up there. So we're going to go out and have a look. So as I said, that was the banqueting hall. There were towers at each end. As you can see, one tower still survives. What I want to do is just take it outside the castle where we should be able to see the whole site. Just so you get an idea. That's what the castle would look like. So that's the banqueting hall you can see. If we go out inside the gates, we're just coming out here. So you can see the church over there. I'm going, to, I'm going to take you across here over the river where we can see the whole castle itself. And we should also be able to just see a bit of the town. So the town is over there. That's the old church of Ireland, which is now part of Athenry. Heritage Centre, which I may go and visit next. Whether I'll do a video from there, I'm not sure. Um, there's the river. There's a rather nice waterfall or weir. Just there with the castle in the background. The other thing to show you, I might make a video there. If I don't, I'll certainly take pictures and post them afterwards. Is over there is Athenry Abbey, which is a Dominican friary. I believe so. Hope you enjoyed this video of the castle and having a look at the friary. Um, as I say, I might do another video there, I'm not sure. And there's the castle behind us. So, from Athenry Castle in Athenry um, in County Galway, which is in the old Kingdom of Connaught. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.